What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're out here on Oliver's boat. Cheers. We got Riley over there rigging up. Obviously Fife's running around somewhere on the boat. There he is. Uh, right behind Jimmy and Jimmy. But uh, we're out here today doing a little local mission. We're going to hit uh, a couple of rockfish spots just to see if there's any uh, any willing reds that want to bite quickly and then we're going to switch gears and go drift for halibut that's the main focus today um i'll show you guys how i like to rig up if you haven't seen my other halibut videos uh, how i like to drift for them what i like to use all that fun stuff but stay tuned should be a good one just leaving the life jacket on i love that you know, I almost just fell in <laughs> extra safety precaution. Yeah. You gotta make me stay cool again, man. Right? There's something yeah, on there. A little baby red. Nice. Okay. Oh, you wanna get it? The hook's, the hook's the same size as the fish, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. Jimmy got some. You bet, Jimmy? Yeah. I put a sardine on. They didn't want my super dead sardine. Oh, this is something different. What's that? This may be, this may be a super dead. It feels like it's rolling already. Look at that stance. She's got the rockfish stance down. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall over. <laughs> got that. There we go. Oh, that's, that's a better, yeah, 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 that's that's a a better red. Wife likes it. That's something to be happy about. Yeah. <laughs> she, just, yeah. she said, aw. <laughs> it felt so much bigger than that. Yeah, that that's good. No comment. <laughs> Every time. I always line myself up to Yep. Alright, let's see how Jimmy's doing back here actually. What's going on? How are you liking the color coded line? It's nice, dude. It's fun <laughs> to look at. It's like planing out weird. Uh, yeah, it's a soup. Oh, pin. a little soup pin. Called you. Called it. That's cool though. It's actually, you did call it. Size one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, the minute I. Yeah, the freaking really? She's get bit too? Literally the moment she's like, oh, can you unhook my fish for me? And then she gets bit. Classic. You guys want a soup pin? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, I think they gotta be 36 inches though, guys. Probably a little short. Lip him, Jimmy. Nice. That's a good red. Sick. Hey! I said no. <laughs> Jeez, baby, what you got there? Dude, this light stuff is so much fun. That was uh, pretty high off the bottom. Was it really? Yeah, probably like 10 to 15 feet, I would guess. A little suspended action. Yeah. There we go. That's really the right kind. Nice. All right, on to catch halibut now. We caught three reds. Well, four. four. Quick release. Yeah, and a little shark. You did it for conservation. <laughs> that was a good size suit fit, dude. I haven't caught one that big before. That was a little baby, dude. Yeah, I've yeah, caught even babier babies. Pulled down a little bit. All right, anyways, gonna go drift for halibut now. All right, so real quick, this is how I like to rig up my halibut rigs. So I have these little sliders right here. I bought them on Amazon. No idea what they're called, but I'm sure if you look up uh, like fishing slide, snap, something like that, classic stuff little bead right there just to protect the knot and it actually has a little snap here so you can quickly change out the weight um, anywhere from four to 12 ounces depending on the depth that you're fishing um, you can also add if you find that you're getting uh, caught up in any kelp or any grass or anything like that you can add like a foot of line just kind of keep that bait up off the bottom and then we just have like a five foot leader to just whatever your favorite j hook is we're using bkk hooks here and then depending on the size of the bait obviously dictates how long you want that treble hook back behind today we had like five to six inch sardine so you just want that 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 stinger hook to sit right below on the belly of the bait what's going on there jimmy's being all quiet in the back man i'm not even done rigging mine up yet hey, hey, no, no. Hey, Dude, thought it was a rocket first. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Jimmy. Why is it? It's like. It's like did you get another shark, bro? Did I? Oh no, it's a halibut. Lean his head this way. Here, probably 
I got you, bud. Check him up a little more. Come on, lift him up, Jimmy. First one. That didn't take long. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm not even done rigging up yet, and we're already on the board. <laughs> nice job, Jimmy. He's like, like quiet. He didn't, even, he didn't even see anything. Just sits a little mouth. Oh, on the front hook. Got him on the front hook? Yeah. All right. First drift. How long was that on the bottom, Jimmy? Uh, about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not even done rigging up, and we already got it solid. Probably 30-inch halibut. Yeah, it's Maybe good even a little more than that. Rad. Well, that one's going in the kill bag, and we're going to hopefully rinse and repeat and do that a few times. Oliver's over here with the squid treks. Yep. I Maybe. actually got my PB early this year on the squid treks. 40. Yeah. That was a 40 giant. 40-pound clove. That was a giant. Falling tide right now. What? We're on a falling tide. Falling tide? Yeah. Low tide at noon? It's a 3.4 high at 6 a.m. Oh, so it's been falling all day. It's been falling, yeah, it falls I was telling them earlier, I don't really pay attention too much to uh, the tides when I'm drifting for halibut. I haven't really noticed the difference. When I'm diving, I definitely pay attention to the tides. When I'm trying to spear them. <laughs> In a foot of water. Because there's, there's specific tides they like to come up pretty shallow that I've seen. But when you're out drifting in various depths, you know, deeper than 40, 50 feet, I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Start using fathoms like they do in Hawaii. They're called all the boats. They fathoms? Kept using fathoms. Of they, use the, they, they say fathoms here too on all the sport boats. Yeah, and I was like, you guys calm down. Just use fathoms. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me do this whole like, oh, we're pushing 40 fathoms. I'm like, 40 times 6 is 240 feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jimmy's up here trying to do all the mental math. Look, look, see, look. I see a fish coming up high. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get. Oh, you see him turn away from it? Yeah. What? I like that. Oh my god, you had a halibut on. Yeah. yeah. I felt him. And I just winding, so like... Look at that. I'm surprised he didn't swallow it then. Yeah, he just got lucky. That was a lucky halibut. Oh my gosh. Vice versa. But it just basically means like they're. So that's when the most current or the most like water movement. Yeah, it's happening. Means. That makes sense. It's a direct correlation. Question is, are you a Capricorn? I know, I was gonna say, <laughs> is, is Mercury in Gatorade right now? Oh, you guys <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Alright, oh uh, no, we're done. <laughs> oh, we got a double. Get him out of that rock, Jimmy. Okay, take your time now. Looks like he's out, Jimmy. Maybe back, back, back off on the drag a little. Make sure the drag's set. Get him off the bottom, Jimmy. Does it feel like a halibut? <laughs> yeah, that's a halibut. <laughs> oh, oh no. Bring him over. Oh my god, Jimmy, are you kidding me? I got this camera on my chest, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, calm right down. Okay. Adam, back yeah, up. Can you... I got you. Alright. Oh, that, one, that one's bigger. Yeah, this one's a little bigger, Jimmy. Hold this real quick, Jimmy. Look at that thing. Yeah, we don't need to hold it up. We don't need to guess if that one's short or not, huh? I don't I think it's short. <laughs> nice. Sick. Yeah, buddy. I'm in trouble next to your hand. My pinky next to its mouth like that is yeah. stressing me out. Just, just, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Calico. Nice one, Riley. Look at the belly on that thing. That's a solid fish. Pretty calico. So, Jimmy, myself, and Riley are all drifting sardines on the bottom with that little slider and that trap. Ooh, that trap rig. Um, Jimmy just got bumped again rock um and oliver's jigging that squid tracks got a couple of couple of bass on it right oliver yeah got two reds and two sand bass oh god I just got a <laughs> as he's getting bit right now but hopefully he can stick a halibut uh, like we were saying earlier he did catch his personal best halibut on that 
on that same bait a couple of weeks ago, months ago, a couple of months ago. Uh, that video is linked down in the bottom if you guys want to watch that. Actually, it's a super cool video. But we're just kind of covering some ground right now, checking all different depths. Um, Jimmy caught those two fish pretty much on top of each other, so we're boxing in this area here. Let's see if there's any other, any other biting ones. Um, the wind just did pick up out of the south a little bit, so it's kind of changing our drift. Um, I didn't check the tides today, so I have no idea what they're doing, but we definitely started speeding up a little bit. Had to add a little bit more weight. Oh. Yeah, and you know what it's going to be like out there too, it's probably just getting down right here. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I was hoping you'd stick it out up there, <laughs> wait for Jimmy to fall in off the bow, dude. Remember the Triumph? The Triumph had a casting deck too, remember? Yeah, I wouldn't stand Member, there. member berries? Remember. I'm Amber. <laughs> 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 Remember the Mako with the two straw? Oh man, don't don't remind me of the Mako. God, I learned so many hard lessons hunting that boat. A lot of what not to do's. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? I think so. Oh no. Yeah. There's no way. This is fun, we're having fun. <laughs> if your name is Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry guys. Ridiculous. When's the last time you had a double? How old is I don't think I ever have. No, that's a lie. We did once a few years ago when we were on that bite out, out deep. But it was in like 120 feet of water. Oh, head shake. Ah. There's a net. You that's, need it. That's there. questionable. So it might be a shawty. It's also in this area that like may pop off. That is a 24 inch halibut. Legal size is 22 inches. Florida's ultimate law sticker. Love that. You guys see a halibut on here? There's like a flounder. Oh, flounder. <laughs> That's, That's his good. cousin. Look at that. We got flounder, bluefish. You guys ever catch a California bluefish? All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, started off out in the deep water. Caught a few of those reds. Jimmy caught that little shark. That was pretty cool. Um, it wasn't really happening over there. Switched gears, went and drifted for halibut. Jimmy put on a, a halibut clinic. Huh? Clinic, baby. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> I didn't, I don't think I caught a fish today. I don't think yeah, I didn't catch anything yeah, today. Captain. Yeah, I was I was tying knots and doing all that fun stuff. But anyways, turned out to be pretty solid. Four halibut, uh, three legal halibut. Oliver caught one halibut, right? And then a bunch of sand bass and stuff like that. Fun little morning session. It's only noon, so we weren't out for very long, but we're gonna call it there. They got places to go, but we'll see you guys uh, back in the kitchen and or wherever we play those halibut. Creepy face. It's such a creepy face. Have you seen their teeth? No. Ew, ew. No. Look at, look at those teeth. Oh, ew. Uh, Jimmy was nice enough to share all of the halibut that he caught. Um, so I took this 24 inch one home. Oliver took the medium sized one. And then Jimmy took the, the big one. Uh, we didn't measure that one, but we did weigh it. And it weighed 19 pounds. So that was a really good sized local halibut. But um, yeah, just gonna run through and clean this fish up real quick. I'm gonna start on the bottom side here. Let's do a head cut and right here you can see there's a, a nice, uh, obviously defined line that you can follow down. There, cut the tail. And then you can kind of just start peeling the meat back from the center out. This is how I like to fillet them.
as you can see, I kind of cut over the guts right there. And then once you have one section removed, it makes it a lot easier to go down towards the top. So I like to start going down towards the belly. It's a little bit smaller of a fillet. It makes it a lot easier to get this big top portion off once that one's removed. See there, didn't miss any of that meat. Got as much of it off as possible. We're gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Get it, bud. <laughs> a little T-Rex stand. <laughs> As always, I like to kind of stake them up into little portion sizes. And these thinner tail sections I like to use for like the tacos, cut those a little longer. And as always, I like to wrap my fish in paper towels and put them in uh, either a grocery bag or a Ziploc bag. These paper towels are a game changer. It helps suck out any of the extra moisture that's still in the in the fillets and you can store them like that until you're ready to eat them or until you're ready to vacuum seal them wrap them up like that the wind's helping me out going into the grocery bag so we're just going to make a simple uh, lunch today i've been marinating these two little pieces of halibut right here and uh, what is that? Thai, we got a little Thai sauce, Thai chili sauce, soy sauce, and sesame oil. I did throw some garlic salt in there, but I'm gonna add a little bit more once we throw it on the pan. And then I have green onions over here and we just cooked some, some steamed rice. So like I said, super simple, but really delicious lunch. Let's eat. Rachel's nodding in approval already. I love that. You can add a little bit more of the sauce here. Obviously you want to use two, um, two fillets that are about the same size, that way they cook evenly. That all goes back to when you're filleting the fish, just make sure you portion it out however you're planning to, uh, to cook it. So we just did little, little steaks here. So I have it on like medium high heat right now. Um, once it kind of caramelizes a little bit more, I'll turn it up and just get like a little crust on the halibut. I was planning on doing the Parmesan crusted. I haven't done Parmesan crusted for you yet, huh? No, but we have plenty of halibut to try it. True. That is true. Go wrong with a little green onion. Or a lot. Or a lot. Oop. There you go. There's a lot for you, Rachel. Alright, give it a try, Rachel. Let's see. I learned I need to do smaller pieces. <laughs> okay, here we go. That looks pretty good. She made a face. It's so good. Was it a good face? Mm hmm. I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, that's real good. It's like super moist, so much flavor. Get a little bit of sriracha on there, a little kick. Hot. 
Should we have Enzo try a piece? That's so good. Yeah. Did you like that? This is a uh, tail wag. He likes it. Do you like it? Big fan. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We're gonna polish this off and get back to uh, packing for Hawaii. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss anything. And it helps the channel out. Helps me uh, be able to spend more time making these videos and bringing this stuff to you guys. But cheers. Thanks for watching. Later.